Hello guys, today we're taking a look at the AIDS DOS virus. Now AIDS is a bit different than most other DOS viruses. You see most other viruses, when they infect files, they clear out a space in the file for their own code and then insert a jump command at the beginning of the host file to point to the virus code. So that when you run the host, it'll run the virus and then it'll run your program that you were trying to run so that the virus can remain undetected. AIDS does not do that. Instead it just overwrites a huge chunk of the file so that many infected files no longer work properly and then one out of one out of ten times it will run its payload routine. So let's go ahead and run it. So clears the screen. A little odd. So it's present in memory now. It will infect files. So run some .com files to infect. DOS key format. Now, every time you run an infected program, it selects a number 1 through 10. And if that number happens to land on 7, it will display its payload routine. So we'll go ahead and restart to make sure that we can get the payload to work. So I'll just give it a minute to restart here. Alright, run it again. Now we'll start running some of these files. See if we can get it to activate. Come on, graphics. I believe in you. I believe in you. Do it. Come on. Seven. Seven, come on. Okay, we'll run AIDS again. Maybe AIDS will make it work. DOS key. You notice you get the message that DOS key is installed last time we ran it, but this time we don't. So obviously some functionality has been altered. Come on. Let's take a look at the code of graphics in simple editor. There should be a string. Oh, okay, edit was infected. See, now edit no longer works. You would get a text editor in DOS, but now it just quits back to the DOS prompt. So I guess that's a good sign that it's infecting stuff. Let's try restarting again. And we'll run some of these infected files. Graphics. See, it cleared the screen, and that's what happened when we originally ran AIDS. Maybe it'll work. Come on, I believe in you. DOS key. F3 enter. I guess the keep uh, computer doesn't like me typing that fast. There we go. There's AIDS. You get this huge message, bright white with the smileys all around. Go ahead and let you read that. And once it displays this message, the machine basically freezes, so you have to restart. But pretty much all functionality has been lost by this point, so pretty much best off just deleting all these infected files, formatting your hard drive, and reinstalling DOS. Because there's really no way to recover from overwritten files. Alright, and that's about it for the AIDS DOS virus.